What's the first one, Mamacita? Well, uh, my people, when you ask what's going on in the world nowadays, there are a couple things. If you're living in Jamaica, it's coronavirus, 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 COVID-19, COVID-19, and then what? Election, election, election. All right, so let's tell you what's happening in Jamaica with COVID-19. Here's your hot topic update. There are currently 293 active COVID-19 cases here in Jamaica. Jamaica has recorded 17 new COVID cases in the last 24 hours up until yesterday, bringing the total to 1,100 and 46 confirmed positives. We also have to note that in the last 24 hours, recoveries moved to 770, which is definitely good news. Um, one of the 17 cases, or of the 17 cases, 11 are males and six are females, with ages ranging from four months to 71 years old. Um, St. Thomas, St. James, St. Catherine, Kingston, St. Andrew, St. Mary, St. Anne, St. Elizabeth, and Manchester are the parishes where we're seeing some of these cases. Ah. Yep. You know, people coming in from the United States, Neville, the yep. ministry has outlined that six of the 17 new cases are imported. Yep. Um, were imported in July. Ah, oh boy. Yep. Anyway, talking about that though, however, I know we all live in fear, but if you drove as I did through the country yesterday, through a few parishes, you would have just seen scores of people pack up in cars, no mask wearing, or half on the mouth, half on the nose, everybody together. It was quite scary to see. You wonder if COVID-19, as we would say in Jamaica, really a keep. Um, election time. I don't think any measures have been put in place for these campaign. Um, well, measures have been put in place. Well, they, they, were, they were just we're not, not abiding by to. them. Yeah, they were not adhered to. Oh my goodness, um, Neville! It's, it's scary. I, I saw them on the road yesterday. Also, um, it, it is not only scary, and I say this without um, apology. It is irresponsible. And again, I say, if you're not too concerned about yourself or your family or your community, well, you know, be concerned about the people who um, want to stay safe. Um, well, here it so is, though. Here I just thought yesterday was kind of, as you said, scary, crazy. Well, what, 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 when crazy. you, you it, nothing was different. You wonder if yep. we were in a pandemic. Yep. Um, so this whole Corona pandemic has just been crazy. Um, and a lot of us, I don't think a lot of people understand or believe it, but I can tell you, um, 22 million people have been affected worldwide. Now that's crazy. Also, good news though, coming out of Australia, um, for Australians, and I don't know, this is a question I want to ask a lot of people. Are you afraid that we may be forced to take a vaccine for this? And we're going back to school. Are we going back to school? So I really want to have this conversation with Jamaica. We have to work on what we're going to do. Now, Australia is offering, when they after they test their vaccine, to give it to 25 million people free. Free, yeah. Now, if we it works. If, yeah. it, if it works. Yeah. And there, would you test? Would you offer and volunteer to test the vaccine? If someone can prove to me that if I get a vaccine, I'll be safe, I would. But you can't prove until we test you. I want to know if you're willing to, 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 to volunteer to test. You know, um, uh, because of my age, I'm not certain, but I, I might. If yes. some, I, again, I'm coming back to the, from the, the, to the place that if, if it can be proven, that this can work and yeah, why not? Um, I know people are scared of it, but you know, people are scared of vaccine to stop chicken pox and all kind of stuff. So I can understand this. I'm Russia said they, anything Russia said they come out with one and people yeah. say, well, we're not too certain. By the way, just to continue uh, yes. Empress's uh, story, a 32-year-old Jamaican woman uh, who arrived in Barbados on a flight from Kingston has mm -hmm. tested positive. Mm. Um, this happened, I think, yesterday, and now Barbados, the island's total is 152. They said the woman is asymptomatic and was the only positive case among the 119 tests carried out by the Best Dos Santos Public Health Lab. So now Barbados, as I said, 152, 81 females, 71 males, 23 people in isolation, 122 have recovered. And they mm. said they've done 14,500 tests. Um, so 
Let's hope that that Jamaican lady will be safe and will come back to us pretty soon. We you know, I, 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 just one more thing. It seems we're not hearing a lot about the continent of Africa and COVID. Seems like they're managing much better than some of these Western countries. You know, it, it, go, it goes to yeah, well, South Africa. Thought. I know South Africa had an issue. They had uh, an issue, but yeah. I mean, if you're thinking about the big old continent yeah, and all these other countries, yeah, yeah, we're doing quite well in Africa. Maybe this is a time for us to move to Africa. Yep. So Empress, Empress started the discussion yesterday. A total of 139 candidates were nominated mm -hmm. to contest the September 3 general elections. There were 13 independent candidates and they were nominated in St. Anne, Northwestern, Trelawney Trelaw Northern, Trelawney Southern, St. James Central, Westmoreland Central, Westmoreland Eastern, Manchester Central, Clarendon Northwestern, St. Catherine Northwestern, St. Catherine Southwestern, and St. Catherine North Central. 105 males, 34 females, and this is on both sides. I think the PNP has 12, um, and I think the, the, the GLP would have the, the rest, obviously, I think, because I'm not certain if there's an independent candidate who is female. But I know, I think the, the, I think the GLP has 18. I'm almost certain they have 18, and the PNP um, with 12. So good luck to all these candidates. Um, the only thing I would ask you is to be a little bit more um, responsible. Um, I know you probably told the people that they must wear the mask and they must have the, the physical distance. I'm certain you told them, but they didn't ad adhere to that. I wondered why the crowd yesterday just for nomination. Um, there was no voting that went on yesterday. And I know this is our culture, that usually on nomination day. Yeah, um, yeah you, you come out yeah, to, to, to show support. your support. Yeah, but because, as Empress said, because of what's going on, Maybe it should have been said, you know, the candidate and three or four more people, nobody else, argument done. Um, we had an issue with our reporter, we'll talk about that later on, and he was actually arrested um, because apparently you were not supposed to be, the, the, the media were not supposed to be in the nomination center. Hmm. Even though in other centers, the media, they were there, and I don't think anything happened. So. It is a discussion that we need to have and um, what the media should do. And to and be honest, the media is just there to show the Empress nominee. I mean, yes. that's all the media is there for, you know, just to show that here's the candidate and she nominated that Tenaka. Mm -hmm. Nothing more. But it is the media's responsibility to share all that yeah, is happening in right, the political right. arena. So, so that surprised we me. We really me. don't want to restrict any media. Um, as long as they're following the rules. As long is, as they're following the rules. Right. And then you have 90,000 people. But you know, when you say follow rules in Jamaica, I'm not sure if we are capable as yet. We are. I don't know if we're capable as yet, as a people, we are. to follow rules. We are indisciplined by nature. Which is true. But and that is something we have to work on. Some people are unruly. And I have that spirit too. You know? What, unruly? I have an unruly spirit. You and popcorn related? Not at all. Okay. But you know, he's a great artist. He is. <laughs> He may be on well, maybe we're all related, the unruly crew. But honestly, yo, talk about politics. You know what's sweet that year, yeah? No. The tune them, the dubs. Have you all been listening to them? No. I that is to. this year. You remember I, politics as much as much as you know, we get serious about governance and accountability, and these things are very important in leadership and, and running the business of the country. Politics globally is the most exciting thing. Just to listen, to watch, to debate, to just, you know, just to see the process, right? Of getting to this day and then election day, you know, and everybody's on the edge of their seat and TVJ hot, hot, hot with the most views. Listen to the songs, Neville. The artists, them, are not coming hard. And I must say, the Minister of Culture, she now play. When you get a chance, people, log on and follow all of the representatives all of the candidates and listen to their their dub songs it really shows you the, the the creativity of jamaican culture and you know what makes me laugh so many artists burn out politics but none of them are sing and a dub <laughs> for the um <laughs> candidates but i love it thank you for the entertainment but we got to get serious and stay safe during this election time and stop painting the dog them who really went and painted a dog Ah, <sighs> painted a dog in the color of the political party. That is not um, acceptable, but that, um, yeah, the, the paint washed off later on, however, in the afternoon. So I'm glad that the dog is safe. All right, protect our dogs out there. Okay, Neville, what else? Last one, mm -hmm. the last Terminal one. one. Um, 
Chariots of Fire, Star Trek. His name is Ben Cross, and he, he's gone, 72 years old. He's well known for his breakthrough role as Harold Abrams in the 1981 film, Chariots mm -hmm. of Fire. Um, he starred alongside Sean Connery and Richard Gere in the First Night. He took on the role of Spock's father in 2009 Star Trek. Um, he was in the miniseries Solomon and uh, he appeared as Captain Nemo, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. One more important thing, every day is a day, right? Today is actually World Photography Day, everybody. So use your, your phones and, and, and your cameras to capture the most beautiful moments of our country and post it out there for the world to see. Do not be left behind, Jamaica. It's World Photography Day and we have a lot to share right here from Jamaica. Happy birthday again, my friend. Thank you, my friend. God bless you. Thank you. All right, um, you must read that, by the way. Really? What do you want me to tell them about love? Just about right self-love? Yeah. You gotta love yourself, my people. Self-love is the best love. Even, it's, it's, it's like, it's better. It's better when it can be monetized. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, cause don't be afraid of money. Still to come, we'll hear from a lady who turned her weight loss journey into a business. News in five, however, will happen next. <laughs>